Hello, today is January 5th, 2014, we are doing next session and today's session is a little unusual, it will be about Reiki healing and energy healing. But first uh, I have to do our usual introduction, which will be also a little unusual. We have mostly our most of our visitors on YouTube are new people, they never saw us, so I have to explain what we do and uh, who comes to us. So that's all about channeling and uh, we are in communication with friendly extraterrestrials, friendly aliens. Uh, the alliance is called Gurkfitnir. Uh, these are Pleiadians from Erra. Uh, mm, gray, Yael Gray. Uh, they don't tell their planet. Uh, Arcturians and, and Lyrons. And they are helping us in many ways, helping the Earth Project. They are preparing for open contact and now the turn is for humans to invite them. They don't want to come without invitation. Uh, and we started the channeling, um, Jim started the channeling to me about half a year ago. And it started during the Reiki session. And this is the first time we'll show that Reiki session. So Reiki is an energy healing art. Um, it uses uh, hands, palms of hands, to send healing energy. You know, Jesus Christ did healing by laying on of hands on people. And he taught his students to, 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 to do Reiki. Like one of the methods was just to put the Reiki on the back of the person, right here. Just stand behind, put the hands on the back of the person. And that's all. You breathe and you invite healing energy to your heart. You fill your heart with glowing healing energy. And then it goes by itself. Is It is invited to go into a person and heal whatever is needed in person. So Reiki is one of the purest, in a way, healing arts because you don't do anything other placing the hands and inviting the energy. Everything else is done through, through energy, which is not physical. It is supernatural. When uh, I say, uh, send energy from one hand to another, from right to left, I, I feel that energy. I feel it like a little blow on the hand. When I move it, it's like a ray, like a sprinkle. It goes, shh. so if you do that, just blow on your head, on your hand, and you feel how it moves. So it's like a little blow on my, on my hand. That's how I feel Reiki energy. So Reiki is very healing. It allows to stabilize your stabilize your vortices. We are all filled with energy. Energy flows through us, and and there are vortices called chakras. Chakras. There are seven chakras, and they have to spin well. Energy has to go go uh, properly through the pathways from above to the ground. And when you're sick, the energy in Reiki mm, teaching, the, in the Reiki art, it's, it's called blockage. So if energy is blocked, then some organs or some place becomes sick. It kind of the energy go doesn't flow through that. So you use your hand, the healer uses the hands to send energy to clear. So it's, it's like washing your paths for of energy. So that's what, what we do. We place the hands and and because there were holidays and also it was a lot of snow, so a lot of Reiki sessions which we had, like Reiki share sessions, I couldn't attend, they were cancelled. So I didn't have Reiki for a while, so I need that too. So I will have the Reiki session. So what happened um, uh, during the Reiki session half a year ago, uh, I knew already that aliens are around me and they wanted to communicate with me. And when they came through gym, they started speaking, I wasn't surprised. And first thing I said, take me up there and I will visit you and we'll talk. And we'll help you and we'll help, you will help us. And then I developed that idea writing books and letters to them electronically and publishing them and sending them to them and sending them to Jim and Jim sent it to them mentally saying, let's create a colony up there. It will take us and we will explain to you how we live here and we'll do contact up there and then we'll broadcast what we learned to the humanity. We have to create a new alien aware human culture and that will transform the humanity to the better. 
and all the secrets, all the evil plans will be exposed because it's all transparent from up there. They all can see that. So that was the plan to save the humanity. And the plan was implemented in May last year. They started taking people. Not me, unfortunately, but they took others. And today, the, uh, uh, now, by now, there was about 200 people who were taken there, voluntary, all volunteers, and returned back. Normally, they don't take people more than four or two weeks in a time. So you are absent from here only for five minutes, but then you go there and you see, and they stretch this five minutes to two weeks and you return and they allow people to remember what happened there. Uh, they visit their alien ships, sometimes they visit other planets, they have tours to other planets. Um, there are four colonies right now, or even five, I'm not sure. Four colonies and um, they're doing good. They visit they meet with aliens every day, they live in nice quarters designed for humans and these quarters are, are comfortable, they have alien technologies, so they have replicators and things of that sort, they have communicators, they have holographic projections and the biggest achievement of the colonies is that they developed telepathy, so they invite telepaths to come there, practice their telepathy, they do telepathy, they do uh, group sessions and they meditate and the aliens talk to them telepathically and they talk also through sound vocally but they also learn to talk telepathically and when you go from vocal communication to telepathic communication it's like going from tiny modem or typing to a broadband where you can send tons of information. So. Uh, deception is much more difficult, so it's almost impossible when you're a telepath. So telepathic societies are much more open, people are much more open to each other. Deception is not possible. Confusion is possible, but not deception. So most of the civilizations start as we do, and then they become telepathic, and they evolve to, from third dimension to the fourth dimension. And the aliens we are talking to are from fourth dimension. Uh, we also are talking to an angel, which was excellent. Recently we spoke to a fairy. We are speaking to an ancient god once in a while. His name is El, E L, and uh, he brought us unfortunate news that according to his plan, and he is not only a god, it's, it's more like a group consciousness, part of the bigger god, the creator, part of the, of the all that is of the bigger god. So he brought us the news that his plan is to transform the earth through a crisis. And he is set to set us to create, to develop a crisis through our hands, not his hands, through our hands by 2027, 13 years from now. So, uh, and according to his calculations or their calculations, um, half of the humanity will perish in about five months from local violence. So people, uh, so the whole system will fall apart, all the economy will fall apart and people will just, especially in the cities, will start fighting each other just because it's our nature and a lot of people will uh, unfortunately die. In 2027, during, according to their predictions, so obviously we don't want that to happen and um, we're looking for ways to avoid that and that's a big part of our discussion. How do we reduce the casualties and do we really need that sort of, it's all, almost like a revolution, do we really need a revolution? Can we evolve by in 13 years to prevent that disaster? And the main reason for that is just to get rid of our financial system and to recreate uh, more transparent society. So is the humanity that that uh, flawed, is there a flaw in our design? So these telepathic experiments in the colonies show that we have a hope, we can become telepaths. Our children are especially talented to become telepaths and empaths, feel the energy, feel the sense, feel what happens. Like during the holidays, I was trying to work and I felt this holiday spirit, even if I was alone, there was no communication with the outside world, I felt that I can't do much work because everybody is celebrating. 
I still did the, the work, but I thought that I'm connected to everybody around, so, you know, their madness or their joy is overwhelming and it, I can't concentrate on what I would normally do. So, if in 2027 the world becomes crazy and people start killing each other, it wouldn't be possible to isolate yourself. Even if you go away from the cities, as they recommend, and hide in the, you know, somewhere in the wilderness, you will still be affected by this global consciousness. So that is my question for today. How do we help the humanity? I guess we all connected. How do we evolve together to prevent that disaster? Obviously, uh, a lot of other sources say that the, the Earth is overpopulated, which I don't believe, but they say that. So maybe we need to lose that num number of people, but can we lose that number of people somehow else, like by traveling to other planets or by just reducing our... Um, voluntarily reducing the number of, uh, how do you say, children, right? I mean, ju ju just kind of birth control, but through birth, that, that, that you call it birth control. Can, can we do something more, less radical, less suffering, less violence, and just do it in a more uh, enlightened fashion other than violence? All right, um, so today I, I will lay down, Jim will do Reiki, and, uh, he learned this alien Reiki, which is a little different than uh, human Reiki. In human Reiki, you use palms and you put the hands like that. In alien Reiki, you put fingers and send energy through fingers. And we know that Lirans do that and Yael Grays do, do, do that sort of Reiki. It's a surprise, they also have sort of a Reiki healing technique. So you will see that. And Jim and I create sort of an antenna which helps the channeling. I, I, I obviously I'm asking questions. I'm a researcher, so I I have a very big desire to find the truth and to help the humanity. And James Boros, how do you say it? Allows himself, lends yeah the word is lends himself to to channeling and allows other spirits to come into his body and work through his hands. So that's what happens, and it works great. Um, who do we invite? We invite, obviously, uh, Jesus Christ seemed to be said that he would come in the new year. New year started. Happy new year. So we hope he will come. He is obviously is one of the most welcome guests. I would love to talk to him. We have tons of questions. Obviously, it's really hard to ask questions to Jesus Christ, but but we'll, we'll be happy to hear what he say. And our questions are obvious. How do we prevent big disasters? How do you how we evolve to next um, dimension, how we ascend, all, all of that. Uh, and love is his specialty, so, you know, what is wrong with our love, what is wrong with our religion, how we fix it. Um, all higher end consciousness, the God, the gods are welcome. Our old friends, uh, alien friends, are all are welcome. Our new alien friends, whoever wants to come, only positive ones, the ones wouldn't, which wouldn't hurt me and Jim, are welcome. Uh, especially we like to speak to Syrians. We never spoke to the aliens from Syria and they are channeling through others so we invite them to channel through Jim as well. That's our invitation. Uh, we would be very happy to speak to the leader of the colonies, Nina, and anybody from the colonies to learn the news from the colonies. We also was said that there will be important announcements. We will be obviously very happy to hear any announcements. I will pause now and uh, lay down and Jim will channel. And happy holidays.